Hi you guys. This is Heidi here. Um, I'm going to be putting out this video today. I did take a little bit of a break again. Um, I got to tell you guys, uh, when, when you hit points of self-work, it really becomes all-encompassing. And so um, me and Amber have really been involved with self-work in the past couple weeks. Um, just in that, we are going deeper in and we are learning and finding new things about ourselves. And that is the most beautiful part of this journey that we are all taking. When you get to go inside and find out the Things specifically about you, about your journey, about your star families, um, just more information that you can play with as you grow and become more in tune with your own ascension. So um, that's where we've been. Um, we did miss you guys. We're glad to be back in the swing of it again with these videos. So today's video, um, one that I have sort of been touching on here and there, uh, as far as knowing that this video was going to come out and there will be many more videos about this topic but here's the good part what we are going to talk about today guys is aging and the whole aging process what that is what that looks like as far as 3d um, living realities go and as we've been playing into that field for so many eons of aging. So let's talk about that. I'm sure there's so many of us who are just going to be dancing in our seats through this whole video because this is this is the gem you guys. This is the gem of truth that we're about to ignite here. Well, I'm going to branch into some topics about aging that um, some of you may already they're saying have um, antenna or antennae feeding into this information. You may yourself already know this or have a feeling about it. So aging, totally a 3D thing, a complete manipulation of the self. And this is where we really come into play with the whole um, downfall as well of the Lemurian and the Atlantean empires. So um, it really goes that far back. So aging is not real, is what I'm trying to say. It is an illusion. It is a mask. It is a complete 3D topic. So as I'm saying this, I'm inviting you guys all to step outside of the box and really understand what is being said here because this is... Um, really going to get the ball rolling for lots of people who already know this to be true and more of this is going to be becoming present throughout this ascension process that we are all in we're going to become very hyper aware is what they're saying hyper aware because of course as these sentient beings stepping into our ascension what that really looks like is people are um hsps that's what we all are guys, highly sensitive people. So when we become highly sensitive people, this is what allows us to tune in to those frequencies, those conscious levels of data or um, knowledge, information, those attributes of light workers, way showers, ascended beings, all those descriptives that I'm giving out, there's so many of them, really, um, that is what we all are. All of us watching this, all of us doing this ascension journey together, we are highly sensitive people, you guys. If we weren't, we couldn't be doing this. And so that uh, is a video about empaths that I am going to be putting out there as well um, in the near future because it is really important that we understand what is going on here um, as ascended beings, beings in the ascension process. Why is that happening for us and not others? HSPs, highly sensitive people. That is a wonderful gift that we all share. So those of you who are already tuning into this frequency of the information I'm about to give about anti-aging, again, they're just like jumping in your seats, 
clapping, laughing, like so happy to get this out there. You guys, think about it. We don't age or I mean, yes, we do when we're trapped in our 3D realities, but we're not supposed to age. Does that even make sense to any of you guys? Why would we age when we are wearing bodies that are so fine tuned in their own perfection of functionality and you're going to sit here and we're going to all play into that 3D spectrum of we all come out of the womb, we go through this process, we shrivel up and we die. Like, no, sorry, that's not true. And we need to really become aware of that if we want to live that truth now. And this is something that makes me so happy. I mean, I have um, my mom and she's constantly reflecting upon her age as a closed door, which is really what it looks like for all of us. It's a time limit. It's an expectation of deterior deterioration of the self. But you guys have to understand that our bodies are so perfect in their creative abilities of functioning. How could they be any other way when we are these supreme benevolent beings? We don't age. And what it actually looks like or did look like back into the Lemurian times and the Atlantean times when there was not the loss of the divine feminine, the divine masculine. When there was harmony, these beings were living for hundreds of years in their perfected state. They didn't age. We don't have to either. Let's jump on this bandwagon together and let's make it so because I know it's so. Your skin cells regenerate so rapidly that we lose approximately 20 to 30 skin cells per day. Shedding of the old self, shedding of the old timelines. And skin has this function of replication. That's the thing. It replicates. It is called a copycat cellular construction or renewal phase. And so it can only by design re-communicate and integrate a double of itself, a new structure of self, and thinking about that again, 20 to 30,000 cells a day, the new cells are going to look like the old cells. It's the copycat that's what the copycat gene does. It can only create a new identity of what is our own expectation of that cell because everything is conscious on its own. So every part of your body that you are running and operating in is an extension of your own consciousness. So it is only you that puts aging onto that timeline, which is your skin's regenerative processes. So we are made of blood, bone, tissue. We have all these awesome organs. Everything, when it is working in full conscious awareness, will return to its true state of existence. We can literally return to those ancient wisdoms and ways, and that is what 5D Earth will be looking like. I have been there many times. Um, so it's just kind of um, incentive is what they want to say. What would you do to receive this gift? Well, pretty much anything, wouldn't you? Because who is going to sit here now without all of these new doors opening in their mind when they've grasped the reality that we might have 150 years left to live. So now it's limitless. We have so much more to give, so much more to offer. But if you can truly understand that with your own conscious awareness, you don't have to age either. That puts us as living our own experience, which is why we come here, in your perfected state, your avatar, 
of expression because we all are given these avatars and not even given, we have created them for many reasons. There's many reasons, um, but we have full control over them. And so what we're gonna see here as this ascension sweeps across the globe and as we become closer to the shift, closer to that gate, closer to the wave of new earth, that is what we're gonna to start to see as we all become more and more aware of it. Now guys, when I've said that, do you understand how much more you have to give and how much further you can take your gifts because you're facing a lapse in that confinement of the box, stepping out of the box. We don't have to age. We don't have to die because we don't die and everyone watching this knows we don't die. We simply transition once we have accepted, acknowledged, realized that we are ready for a new experience. We cross out, we pick something new. So many times in my uh, meditations and astral travels, um, I have went to 5D Earth, but I have also been uh, really privy to an entire range of information about aging in the body. So you guys, if somebody told you you had the fountain of youth within your own hands, what couldn't you do? So for all of these people watching these videos who are feeling that closing of the door, which is aging, which is time, which is your lifespan 3D, I am here to say, forget that nonsense. I don't care if you're sitting here and you're 90 and you're watching these videos. It just doesn't have to be that way. If you're 90, who cares? You're a baby. You have so much more life that you can experience if you only realize this. And it's going to become a tangible event is what they're saying. A tangible event in that we are going to start noticing people going along these ascension paths aren't aging. And in fact, you will visually be able to compare measure, equivalent, because that's what we like to do, you will have a tangible object of comparison. So they want me to make note here. If you are to watch these videos now and then come across them again in two years, this is just a literal definition of time because again, there is no time, but if you want to take that, if you're gonna watch this video now and then you're gonna watch it again in two years, I kid you not, you're going to see how malleable your avatar is because you're gonna see that I don't look the same anymore. And all of the videos that I am in the now of making in that future timeline, I am not going to look the same. I'm going to look better. I'm going to look well. I'm going to look younger. And we all can do this. So it again goes back to even the hair video. Choose because they say now is the time for refinement. That's the word of the day, guys. Refinement. When you become aware of all of your capabilities, now you get the opportunity to choose and refine what exactly you want your avatar to be. So what does that look like for you? Please take the time to refine, to describe what you think that your self-expression would look like and best suit you as for your future timeline of your personal avatar walking in 5D. This is totally your choice. What do you want to look like, guys? And I know that it wouldn't take long for any of us to even come up with that answer because we have all already an idea of who we look like. 
what was it that you thought you wanted to look like coming down? And then you can actually start to trace back along your rooted 3D life experience, where did the disabling, the disconnect start to feed in to the dismantling, the deterioration of this ideal avatar? Honestly, guys, make a game of it because it's super fun and um, I believe fully and have been there, have seen it and know it to be so. So when you're presented with the truth of immortality, because we walk around and we talk about it all the time and as ascended beings and highly sensitive people that we all are watching these videos and making these videos, of course we are immortal. We all know that, so why would you think that if you had the belief system of being immortal, you would not have the capability to choose the avatar? So when we step into that shift and we are actually realized and living in that 5D Gaia, we can be anyone and anything. And of course, it's going to reflect your true essence of self. I'm just saying, you can't sit here and say I'm walking the journey of ascension and not realize that you are your own creator and we say it every day. We say it every day as light workers, as way showers, as light beings. We say it every day as we walk around. We create our own reality. Well, if we're saying that and that's the truth and it is, why would you and how you look and your body not play into that as well. So um, this is just touching upon the topic of it because they want me to open the book. They're saying, open the book on aging. Let's squash that now. Let's get moving with our own divine right, our own gift of immortality and creative expression. Cause that's all there is, is creative expression of self. Obviously, that's you and your body and your entire existence of self is your own creation. Let's work on ourselves, guys. Let's pick our avatars. Let's mold them. Oftentimes, they'll refer to it as um, malleable Barbie. And I always like it when they say that because it's um, Malibu Barbie, but it's malleable Barbie. We are all our own Barbie dolls, malleably. We can tweak and refine ourselves. Let's do it together. I'm telling you, you can. My mom does it all the time. She sits there and she says, well, I'm 60 plus, that's it for me. All I want to do now is relax and enjoy myself in my last, my last run. And I'm looking at her thinking, hmm, something's not adding up there in the conscious level of understanding if that is what you're saying, that's what you're gonna get. But for all of us watching who are sitting in the same place as her, no, no, you're not at the end of the line. You're not on your last stage. You're not performing your last play. And you don't have to. So check that box as I see it. Now I know this and let's move on from that. Let's just walk away from the aging process together. I agree with this wholeheartedly. I have been there so many times. I have actually been able to go into my own cells and watch them restructure. I can feel it because I'm highly sensitive and of course most of you are as well. I can feel when my body is working. I know what's going on here. It is renewal of the cell. We talk about the copycat. Please, positive affirmations to the self. Look in the mirror. Try to visualize your malleable Barbie. What does it look like? And let's think about that at least just once a day. Can you commit to that? Can you commit to once a day creating your malleable Barbie, your perfect avatar, we will get there way faster if we do it together and we shine the light on the aging process. So that is good for now. They say it is simply an introduction, an opening of the fountain of youth, the book of life, the gift, 
It is a gift that they're wanting to give to you within these anti-aging videos that are gonna start coming out from Journey Now because it is time to accept and embrace that as your truth. Let's do it together, you guys. Honestly, like, subscribe, pass it on so more and more people can truly understand. We do not have to check out. We do not have to wither away. We are all these bright, golden flowers with no end in sight. That's what I want you to understand. No end, infinite life. That's what we are, that's what we have. It has always been this way. We simply got sucked into a 3D matrix grid line of illusionment, disillusion, disillusionment that was specifically created specifically created to force us to shut down, to disconnect with our truths so that we would age, so that we would be fed out this lie and know it as truth even though it wasn't. It plays right into our manipulations. It is one of the biggest manipulations we face as a species right now on planet Earth aging. It's a huge lesson. Let's take it. Let's run with it. Love you guys. That's about all I have to say on this topic for today, but we will get... Hi, buddy. That's my little guy there. There's Harlan coming out to play, of course, because we're outside and Mom, when we're outside, that's show, what happens. Can you show them my bat bike? He wants to show you guys his bat, his bat bike. But um, let's commence with the ending of this video. I love you guys. Put questions in there. If there's anything you want to know about the anti-aging process, and they don't even want me to say that, quit saying anti-aging. Right. Again, we are attributing Mom. aging as a word. Continue to refine language. That's what they want Mom. me to say out of that. Mom, I want love you guys. I want them love and light as always. We'll them. see you next time. I want